The film opens at a high school in Virginia, where Marin Yearly is met by her friend Sherry. She invites Marin to her house for a sleepover, but Marin says her father would not let her. Sherry suggests she sneak out. Marin lives with her father, Frank. After he falls asleep, Marin sneaks out and goes to Sherry's house, where she is hanging out with two other girls, Kim and Jackie. Kim asks Marin about her mother, but she doesn't have an answer. Sherry paints Kim's fingernail with scented nail polish. Marin grabs Kim's hand and begins to bite down on her finger. She pulls herself away and leaves Kim's finger mangled and chewed up. Marin runs home as the girls begin screaming. She pounds on the door, and Frank sees Marin with Kim's blood on her face, realizing what has happened. He gives her three minutes before they have to leave for good. Marin and Frank move to Maryland, but Frank abandons Marin while she sleeps. He leaves her with a tape recording, telling her that this is not the first time she has tried to consume human flesh and that he can no longer protect her for it. In the recording, he talks about separate incidents, such as when Marin was three and chewed up her babysitter badly enough to kill her, and Frank had to hide her body. Marin did the same to a boy at camp when she was eight. Marin plans to head to Ohio to find her birth mother, Janelle May Kearns. On her travels, she is met by a man who calls himself Sully. He tells her that he smelled her, and he knows that she can smell him, too, as he is also a cannibal. He brings Marin to a house where an old woman has fallen over and hasn't been able to get up all day, which Sully knows is a sign that she is about to die, and he smelled it. Although Marin is horrified, he tells her that their hunger for flesh must be taken care of. In the morning, the old woman dies, and Sully wastes no time in eating her. He invites Marin to join him, and she obliges. Sully shows Marin a long rope made of hair from the people he's eaten. While Sully takes a shower, Marin runs away and hops on a bus, but Sully catches sight of her as she leaves. Marin stops in another state and goes to a store where she attempts to shoplift some products. She sees a mother being harassed by another man. Marin speaks up to him, as well as a nearby young man, Lee. Lee gets in the man's face and taunts him, causing the man to follow him outside. Marin goes to a nearby abandoned building where she sees Lee emerging with his face and neck caked in the man's blood, as he is also a cannibal. Marin talks to Lee, acknowledging they share the same condition, and Lee invites Marin to join him as he steals the man's truck. Lee drives Marin to stay at the man's home for the night. The next day, they drive to Lee's old home to see his sister Kayla. She chastises Lee for leaving and not sticking around like he previously promised. Lee agrees to help Marin get to her mother. On their travels, they begin to fall in love with one another. As they stop to rest, they are met by two men, Jake and Brad. Jake is also a cannibal, but Brad isn't, though he doesn't have a problem with it. Jake tells Marin and Lee about how consuming a person, bones and all, makes a cannibal feel more than they normally do when they merely consume the flesh. Marin and Lee wait for the men to fall asleep, and they head to steal Jake's truck. He wakes up and sees them, but the two drive away quickly before they are caught. Marin and Lee stop at a carnival, where they are on a ferris wheel before Marin tells Lee she is hungry. He goes to scout out a potential meal when he comes across a snotty booth operator who denies a kid a prize, because he made an underhand throw. Lee tries his hand at it, and the booth operator is more kind and flirtatious with Lee. They make plans to meet later after he closes up. Marin hides nearby as she watches Lee bring the booth operator into a cornfield, where they begin to make out. If you have come this far in the video, please subscribe to this channel. To never miss amazing content like this, before he climaxes, then invites Marin to feast off him. Moments later, they see the booth operator had come from a nearby house, where he has a wife and child. Marin is mortified at what they have done, and she flees from Lee. Marin continues her travels alone and meets her grandmother Barbara. She reluctantly invites Marin inside as she asks Barbara questions regarding Janelle. Barbara says that Janelle is no longer with them, 
but she clarifies that it doesn't mean she's dead, just that she now resides in a mental hospital. Marin also promises never to visit Barbara again, which she is thankful for. On her way out, she is met by Sully again, who has been following her. When he invites her to join him again, she rejects him, and he angrily calls Marin a cunt. Marin makes it to the hospital where Janelle is staying at. She doesn't speak much and has chewed off her own hands. The nurse gives Marin a letter that Janelle wrote years earlier, specifically for Marin. The letter details Janelle's ordeal as a cannibal and how she didn't feel that Marin was safe around her. Not long after Marin finishes reading the letter, Janelle makes an attempt to attack and eat Marin until the nurse holds her back, prompting Marin to run away. Marin later comes across Kayla and her friends. She stops to talk to Kayla about Lee. Kayla mentions that they lived with their father, but he had disappeared mysteriously, which is why Kayla felt angry that Lee left her. Marin later reunites with Lee and asks him about his father. He tells her that he was abusive to him and Kayla, so he ate him. The two resume their relationship and try to live a normal life together. After a few months together, Marin and Lee are living peacefully until they are found by Sully. He attacks Marin and holds a knife to her, trying to force her to go with him until Lee wraps a plastic bag around Sully's head. Sully stabs Lee in the chest, but Marin is able to wrestle the knife away from Sully, and she begins to stab him. They pull his body into the bathtub, where Marin digs into Sully's body and pulls out one of his organs to eat, which Sully is alive for long enough to witness until he finally passes. Lee finds that he is severely bleeding, as Sully punctured his lung. Marin also finds Sully's hair rope and finds a lock of blonde hair, indicating that he killed Kayla and was able to find Marin this way. Marin attempts to help Lee get up so that they can get help, but they know that they cannot get help from a hospital without explaining their circumstances, so Lee tells Marin to eat him. She does so while he is still alive. The last shot is of Marin and Lee sometime earlier, sitting on a rock while holding each other. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let us know in the comment section below which movie you want us to recap next. As always until the next time.